Hi everyone, it's Kathleen. We are here today and we are going to start to create birdie feet using bullion knots. I have created this one already to show you what it will look like. I've used There's a total of nine wraps on the legs, each nine, nine, and right now I can't remember if I went 18, 18, 18, and 18 on those. So I'm going to show you how to do these. When, for my shorter legged birds, I have two legs and then I start off with one leg, two legs. I do uh, back foot and another back foot. And then I do two front foots, front feet, off of one of those. That's what I did on that bird. And I've done the same on this bird. A leg, a leg, then a back foot back foot. Then I did two front feet off of the front one. So I did both of those like that. I'm going to choose, I don't know what color of, I think these are the last ones. So if that's 20, this is bird 20, this is bird 19, 19 and 20. And I am going to start with this bird one to demo on. Bird one is how Lisa labels her birds on on this in the book. So that's the first bird. Some of her birds have feet, others do not have feet. Mine will all have feet. This one here, because of the way I positioned it, I'm gonna make longer feet for this. So when I did nine wraps and nine wraps for those short little legs, I'm going to do at least double that for, I think I'm gonna use 11 and 11 for these wraps. So I'm gonna start by anchoring on my two legs. So let's, I want this one to be anchored on here and my body is up here. So I'm going to come anchor my thread about half an inch in between my wool layers. And I just hide that so the thread just tucks in. I'm going to take a second bite. Jack, come and lay down. Lay down. One bite. And a second bite. Because as you can tell, I don't put knots in these. Because a knot in this heavy, um, wide apart wool fabric, well, it'll just come out. So that's two knots or I mean two bites. So let's go back and see where I want to come out. And I want to come out here. I'm coming out on the background fabric, but right next to the bird wool. Okay, so I'm going to take, let's lay this down here, and I'm gonna have two joints. This bird here, has one jointed legs and my short my short legged birds are going to have one one bullion knot for these long legged birds i'm going to have two bullion knots so it's going to go i say half an inch but is it is it really half oh yeah there and there. Yep, it's actually half an inch. So let's half an inch. And then I'm going to go up. If it's not up the same hole, it's very close to the same hole. And I'm going to bring, and this is not a Milner's needle. It's just an, a needle with a large eye. So when people say, oh my gosh, you can only do wraps with a with a Milner's needle. You can't do it without a Milner's needle. Well, look, 
you'll see how easy I'm doing mine without a Milner's needle. So sometimes I leave the eye poking through, other times I just bring it close up so I can feel the end of the needle. And I have enough thread here, so I'm gonna start looping. So for that's half an inch, let's try 11. Whoops, what am I doing? This is a size five black Alganza Pearl Easy M, meaning mixed, 104. So it's a variegated black, but you can use, I'm black. Size five. And let's try 11 wraps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's eleven, and I'm going down here. It's going to be kind of straight, which is okay. So let's try eleven. Eleven, and I'm going to squeeze, squeeze my bullions and pull my needle through. Look at how easy that came through, and that is not a Milner's needle. Okay. So pull, I'm always squeezing, that's the important part, squeezing the bullion knots so they don't come unraveled, and I'm pulling my thread until the thread will come down, right? The thread will tighten the bullions and pull the bullions right down to that fabric. So now I'm going to pull that away and you can see there's a still a little bit of gap. I didn't pull it too tight. I'm gonna go down the same hole and pull my thread through. That's 11 wraps. And I'm going to just tight, I squeezed my bullions and I'm pulling my thread from underneath to make sure it's nice and tight. And that's the first joint of his leg. I'm going to make my other and you see how I, yes, my thread gets tangled because it's long, but I want long. I don't want to have to have all these starts and stops in the back. Let's do the second half of our leg. I said a wrong thing. I'm doing my second leg. No, I can't have it there. That looks like a, a bum. Let's go here. Let's start here. Okay, I'm going to come out onto the background fabric right close to the body of the bird and I'm going to take my half an inch bite go up close to if not up the same hole is that longer that looks a little longer I want it the same knee height. So let's, I'm butting my needle up to the bullion knot, going down and up that same hole. And now I can push my needle and I'm gonna hold my needle and pull my thread so this little end is shorter, shorter. So I have a long piece of string to work with here, thread. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And let's go eleven. And I'm going to lay it flat and pull my needle out. I'm always squeezing here. Always, always. That's probably what makes people have not so nice and crisp bullions. And you see my finger? with my fingernail, caught my bullion knot right down to the fabric, so it's perfect. So I'm pushing that away, my bullion away, so I can see where my thread goes down, and those are my, that's the top part of my legs, my thighs. So I'm gonna go down, and where do I want the legs to be? Well. Do I want his legs to be straight? Do I want him a little bit crooked? Let's go straight. Let's go down another half inch. So is that a half an inch? OCD, OCD, 
OCD. OCD. Yep, half an inch. Okay, there we go. So, half an inch down. He's going to have tall legs. And he's going to, thread's going to come out. And you, you see from the bottom of the bullion right here, it goes down. Okay, so this is, let's untangle this. And I'm going to go down the same hole. Let's go down the same hole and then up. Up the same hole and it's flat. The thread is flat on the back. And now I am, you saw how I folded this. I sandwiched it in half. So it's nice and easy for me to work with. I have a long loop here to wrap around push my needle through and I did 11 there and we're going to try 11 here as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven. 10, 11, 11. Does that, do these bullion knots look like they would fit in here? I'm going to say yes. So then we're good. If you want it to be right, when I say will it fit in here, it's a line laying flat. If I want it bigger, you'll see when I do the next feet that it has to be longer than this. The bullion knots have to be longer if you want them to be bowed and stick out 3D. I want mine to lay flat. So that looks great. 11 wraps in a size 5 black. And you saw how easy that was? This is not a bullion's. I'm sorry, this is not a Milner's needle, even though I don't. It's whatever my eye can see, and that's a nice big eye. And this is the right length for me now. Usually I sew with a Milner's needle. So I'm just saying, you don't have to always use a Milner's needle. Like some people say, because I don't. And look at how beautiful my, my bullion knots come out. Let's go to the side. I'm going to follow that thread and go down. And yes, I have a nice thigh and a nice lower leg. So I want that to stay. So I'm going to give it an anchoring stitch back here. And I'm just going to go in and then I'm going to go in again tight and in again. Now I am going to do my second leg. I'm going to come up the same hole and yes this is about 12 inches. Hopefully that'll do for this next wrap and I'm going to use my gauge for length as the bottom of this bullion leg straight across and up if not up the same hole very close to that same hole I'm going to pull a little bit to leave a smaller a smaller tail just to make sure I have enough thread to do my loops and I think I said 11 so let's do 11 One, well, they, I put it behind. There's no loop on there, so let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Will those loops, is it the same length as that? I'm going to say yes, approximately, so I'm good. So I'm going to squeeze my loops, turn it around. Pull, pull, pull until I'm always holding with my with my hands the loops until the bullions touch my fabric and I go down the same hole and pull and oh yes he's got lovely legs long long lovely legs okay so I'm gonna tuck I don't think I have enough to do larger wraps with this. 
I want to do nine. Do I have enough to do nine? Hmm. I'm not sure. I can do it. I'm going to try. Okay, so let's nine wraps. Do I think I can do nine wraps? Let's see. I have to tie this tight, meaning I want to secure it so my loops don't come out. So let's just take a, let's take a small bite and another small bite. That's what I like working about wool. With wool, I can knot that in the fabric by just taking a couple bites. Now, I want to make a small foot like that. This is nine wraps. And I want to make another back foot with nine wraps. So do I think this will last nine wraps? I'm going to hope so. Because if not, I have to cut it off. So let's make another anchoring stitch in case I have to cut this baby off. So that'll be like a real good knot. And I don't worry. I won't worry if I have to cut this last bullion knot off because I'm knotted off already. Okay, so let's come up at the bottom of that leg. And I want my I want my little back foot. I want it to come down slightly and over slightly. So about there. Closer in about there. So that's going to be about the same length as this. Half an inch. No, it's less than half an inch. I can see that. But whatever. It's going to be... I'm just eyeballing it. So let's... Okay, I like how it lays. Let's see. I want it to stick up and go there. Okay, that'll be perfect. So let's go up at there. Let's see if I have enough. Oh boy. I don't know if I have enough. Okay, let's see. What am I going to do? I'm going to take out this thread as much as I can. I'm left with just a small little bit. Okay, hold it with my fingernail so that does not move. And I have to make, let's see how many wraps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. I want it to, I'm going to go thirteen. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. You can see where my, my thumbnail is. This is a shorter distance along this fabric. This is a longer distance, so that's going to raise up. So what did I say? 13. If this is 13, thirteen. let's take one out. 13, let's go 12. Take it off, 12, and let's take it off 11. Okay, I'm going to stick with 11. These were 11, 11, and I'm going to stick with 11 there. Squeeze my bullions, pull my thread. Okay, I'm very happy with that. This is going to come out. I'm going to go down the same hole. Okay, I love that. That is perfect. I have to do another one for the other leg, but my thread is too short. So I will be taking a small bite. A small bite and, well, small bite to anchor it in place, to, like a knot. And then I'm taking a longer bite. And I feel with my needle just to ensure that it's going in between my fat, my wool. So that's done. I used up all that thread. And not enough there, so that's garbage. We need more thread. lovely fibers. So more thread. 
So we've got two long legs and one back foot. So we have to do another back foot. I'm going to take a very long length. I'm gonna say 36 inches, but it's from the tip of my finger all the way up my arm to my opposite shoulder. So approximately 36 inches. Let's see. Thread our needle. Okay, and I want to come out here, so I'm going to anchor my thread. I'm going to come in half an inch, nice long. And take a small bite. small bite to anchor it because again I don't use knots when I do wool and let's go up the same hole and pull the thread through okay let's have a look here I'm all tangled up okay so my my back foot goes down at a slight angle you see that? This one here will go down at a slight angle too. And okay, because this is very thick, fat, thick cotton, I'm going to either okay, let's go in between here. So is that a good length, or do I want to drag it across here? When I look at these, this leg here i have one leg and back foot one second back foot the second back foot stops before that leg and so does this other one here back foot well it is lower and just before that so let's do the same lower so let's stay on the on the uh on the gray or else i have to go in here in this hole. Okay, we can go in the hole. Let's do that. Is that at a weird angle? I'm going to do it. Okay, so let's go up. And now our bullion knot. I'm just going to pull my looped thread so the end is smaller. Now I have enough thread. And what did I say, 11? Let's do 11. One, oh, see, one isn't a loop. It just kind of went around halfway around the needle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11. And I'm going to squeeze and pull. Squeeze the bullion knots, pull the thread through until the thread stops and Pull it back, go down the same hole, okay, that's all right, I'm okay with that, and now we have to do two longer ones. So a longer one connecting to the left, I'm going to say that's the left foot looking at it, a long one, and still at the left foot a little bit shorter and down. That's how I'm making mine. So where am I ending? I'm ending here, so I'm ending at the end, so that's good. I can come up here. I'm just going to take a little bite to secure it and I'm pulling it tight and I'm going to do one bite to secure it. So the first bite just went in the wool, the second bite secures it. So I'm going to come up at the, this is the 
when I'm looking at it, the left leg, and I'm going to come up at that left leg, right there at the bottom. And now let's lay this down and we want a foot to kind of go, it's going to go up a little bit and I want it to go, I'm pointing to the end of the leg, halfway down to where that bottom foot is. So halfway up and across. And that looks pretty good to my eyes. Uh, maybe, do I want to go the same height for the first one? And the, yes, I'm going to go for the, so when I say the same height, I'm meaning this first leg stops at the needle and it goes straight across. And he's going to have big feet. He's going to go right there. What is that? Half an inch? Mm. Are these two of those squares? Let's make them a little smaller. Yes, half an inch. So let's go up. He's going to have really big feet, that poor little guy. Let's give him a little bit short feet. Half an inch. So where are we going? Half an inch. Okay, half an inch and up. The same hole. So right at the bottom of the foot. Okay, and let's grab this loop. And if this, these are all 11, so we need more than 11. So let's go, okay, that isn't even anything. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I want to go more than 11. This, these booleans have to be longer because I want them to arc. So 11, I like odd numbers, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I'm good with 19. Okay, I'm going to lay this down. I seem to be stuck. I'm always hanging on to those bullions because that will make a big difference in how your knot looks. If you let go, your knots are going to be wonky. I never let go. So all my knots or circles are, are going to be, there we are, uniform. Okay, pull this out, pull up until you feel, oh, I love that. Okay, so let's pull this back. And go down the same hole. Okay, I pick prick myself, so I don't know if I went down the same hole. Down the same hole. And turn it around. And we just flick our loop so our bullion knot goes up. If I have to tack it down like couching, I will, but we'll see. So I'm going to give myself a Take a little bite and then another little bite and that's just going to make sure that it's, it's like putting a knot in there without putting a knot in there. Okay, so we put, the order I do feet, I do one leg, two legs, one back foot, two back foots, two back feet, and one longer, and so all, all of these are the same bullions. In this case, it's 11. The front foot is has more. I think I said 18, 19, maybe 19. And I'm gonna make this next foot, so where did I come out? I am, my needle is here. Okay, so I can come out I want to come out a little bit lower and a little bit closer to the leg. Lower, closer to the leg. I'm happy with that position. And now to make my, looks I'm a little tangled. Yes, because I have a long piece, but I'm okay with that. 
So now I am going to go down at the bottom of the leg where all of these, all these meet. So, so there's a leg, a front foot and a back foot and another front foot. I'm gonna go down that same hole and up the same hole there. Push my needle. I have lots of a loop to work with, so why do I, do I look tangled? Okay, we're good. So uh, let's start counting. And that's the first one. And I seem to have a lots of little fur here. Okay, let's go with with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Nineteen. Ooh, it's a little bit shorter than that one. Does it have to be nineteen? <clears throat> Let's go eighteen. I'll leave it at 18. And it's just a guesstimate. I like 9, 11, <clears throat> 19. I'm squeezing the bullion knots, pulling my loose thread until my loops touch my fabric. And go down the same hole. So you see I'm moving my Bullions go down the same hole. Oh, I love that. Okay, that looks so cool. Love that. Okay, let's anchor it. We're done. Okay, let's tight. Let's take a small bite and a longer hiding hiding stitch. Done. There we are. Look at that. So if I can see that. No. Hmm. Eleven wraps, eleven wraps, eleven wraps. And this is the long-legged, long, long legs. So I have two 11 wrapped bullions on each leg and I have a 11 wrap for a back foot. That first front foot was 19 and this one was maybe 18. And I'm gonna leave all mine designed like that. These were short legs of nine, nine wraps, nine wraps, nine wraps, nine wraps, and then 18 wraps each, 18 and 18. And I still did two legs, two back feet, and two front feet off of that one leg. All of my designs are on all my birds are gonna be the same. So I have two legs, two back feet, and two front feet. So now I'm going to go and finish all of my bullion knot feet for my Alfred birds. So I think they turned out absolutely gorgeous. Let's see here, how do I want to arrange them? So thank you everyone for watching and I'm going to say bye for now. Oh, don't forget to post your photos to hashtag Alfred's Garden, S-A-L, and it's all one word on Instagram. Thank you. Bye for now.